Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. Welcome to the channel and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna compare four tube amplifiers, four of the big boys, so to speak. Sort of the high gain flagship amplifiers of some of the biggest brands. We're gonna check all the amps out with some clean tones, some crunch tones, some high gain heavy rock tones with a passive pickup, and some heavy baritone downtuned metal with an active pickup. The amps that will be featured are the Orange Rockoverb 50 Mark III. This amplifier was built in the UK. It's a two channel 50 watt amplifier with two EL34s in the power section. This is the Orange high gain flagship amplifier for sure. We also have the Marshall JVM410H, a four channel 100 watt monster with a lot of features. Four EL34s in the power section and three voicings per channel, so that's 12 voicings in total. A killer amp that was constructed in the UK, definitely Marshall's high gain flagship amplifier. I absolutely could not leave out my trusty Mesa Boogie dual rectifier head, the three channel non multi watt version from the 2000s to be exact, and that amp was built in the USA. It's a 100 watt amplifier with four 6L6 tubes in the power section, a legendary beast for sure, and definitely one of the flagship high gain amplifiers from Mesa Boogie. And finally, we have the PV6505. This amp was built in China, and it's a 120 watt amplifier with four 6L6 tubes in the power section. A very powerful beast indeed. Of course, the 6505 also is a legendary amplifier, so I just had to include that one as well. Okay, so we're gonna hear all the amps in a full band mix with unique and fitting Ohnhammer impulse responses from various packs. And then after that, you'll get to hear an isolated AB comparison of all the amps with the same IRs as before. And after that, that another isolated AB comparison, but this time with all the amps going through the exact same IR. For that purpose, I chose one of my all time favorite Ohnhammer impulse responses from the Revolution series, and that's an impulse response from the 412 Trad V30 cab speaker combo. And in that case, the mic mix is the forward three mix. All the actual amp settings and IRs that I used will be noted during the video. And we're gonna start this comparison with some very nice clean tones. And for this section, I'm using my Gibson Les Paul Classic on the neck pickup, and that is a classic 57 pickup to be exact. For the orange rocker verb, I went through the natural channel also with some reverb dialed in. For the JVM, I went through the clean channel on the green mode, also with some slight reverb dialed in. For the rectifier, I chose the green channel on the clean setting. And for the 6505, we are on the rhythm channel, but with the crunch switch turned off and the bright switch turned on. All right, let's get started. <laughs>
All right, that sounded nice. Very beautiful, clean tones indeed. Gotta love those clean tones on that neck pickup of the Gibson Les Paul. And now let's check out the isolated AB comparison, just so you can really hear the differences between the amps. And now the exact same thing, but this time with all the amplifiers going through the exact same 412 Trad Ownhammer impulse response. Great, now let's move on to some more dirty tones. For these segments I used the same guitar so the Gibson Les Paul Classic, but this time I'm on the bridge pickup, and that's a Super 57 pickup to be exact. A very cool and classic but slightly hot sounding humbucker pickup. For the orange we're going through the dirty channel this time, for the JVM we're going through the crunch channel this time on the red mode, for the Mesa Boogie I went through the orange channel on the vintage voicing, and for the PV6505 I used the rhythm channel again, but this time with the crunch switch enabled. Let's go ahead and take a listen.
Now let's check out the isolated AB back to back comparison. Here we go. And now that same thing again, but again with all the amplifiers running through that same Ohnhammer impulse response. That was awesome! Now let's check out some chunky heavy rock with a passive pickup. The guitar that I'm using is my ESP LTD NW44 with a passive bare knuckle aftermath pickup in the bridge position. A really killer guitar. For the orange I'm going through the dirty channel again. And for the Marshall I'm using the third channel this time on the orange mode. And for the rectifier I'm on the red channel now on the modern voicing. And for the 6505 I went with the lead channel this time for that huge high gain tone. Let's check it out.
That was awesome, very cool indeed. Now let's check out the isolated AB back to back comparison. And now that same thing again, but with all the amplifiers running through that same Ohnhammer impulse response. Here we go. And now finally, let's check out all the amplifiers with my ESP LTD Eclipse baritone with EMGs in it for that really heavy, downtuned baritone, sludgy and filthy, chunky stuff that we all love, right? No boost pedals were used this time, so let's see how well the amps perform. The rocker verb is on the dirty channel again, of course. The JVM is on the fourth channel, but on the red mode this time. That's the mode with all the gains. And the rectifier is on the red channel again with the modern voicing, and the 6505 is on the lead channel again. Let's chug it out.
awesome. All the amplifiers sounded so huge there. Now let's check out the isolated AB comparison. And finally, that same AB back to back comparison again, but this time running through that same Ownhammer impulse response. Alright guys, that's all for this video. I thought that all the amps sounded great in their own ways. Definitely unique, but great. But what did you think? Were there any amps that stood out to you in certain sections? Of course, I would love to know all your thoughts. Yes, all of them. Well, maybe not all of them, but all the ones related to this video. So be sure to drop a comment down below to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell and you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. Alright, see you soon guys. Thanks and cheers.